All right, folks, welcome. This is the uh, initial show, the premiere show called Prospectums with Circle and Graham Z. Take it away, ladies. Well, just because I really like that word, Prospectums, right? Um, so, I um, welcome to you, Mary. Well, thank you, Circles. I hope you enjoyed the song. I did. I was sitting here kind of doing a boogie, but I got to admit, um, I did what I normally do when I'm doing my show, and I did a quick run to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, because um, I think it's a very fitting song about, you know, courage. Um, so I figured we'd talk a little bit about courage. Ah. Yep. Um See and and about being brave and and um, what it's like what what bravery really is right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because uh, I know everybody knows that saying about you know being brave is not about be not being scared or not having fear. Um, and that's really true, right? About the whole that if you're brave, you're gonna grab whatever it is that you're scared of and you fear by the hand. And you're going to walk with it through whatever it is that you're scared of, right? Yes. And find um, that calm in doing that, in being in that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and being, you know, being brave, a lot of people say, oh, well, so brave, such a, you know, just doing little things sometimes can take an awful lot of bravery. Yes. You know, like. Speaking your mind around people that that do not think the way you do, that takes an awful lot of bravery. Yes, and and to not really care, right? Yeah, but but still care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's one of those. Um, what was it I saw the other day? Uh, why would you take criticism from someone that you would not go to for advice? Yes, it's having that kind of an attitude. Yes. And why would you really listen to criticism? I mean, it, it, in all fairness, it does not come from a place of truth, right? Because um, truth comes from love and from being with source, a source of life, right? Yes. And and criticism doesn't come from love and kindness and caring and, and that. No. Criticism comes from comes from a a dark place, a place of of not you know it's it's my way or the highway kind of yes. a place. And really, why would you listen to something that doesn't um, that didn't uh, originate or didn't came from truth? Oh, see, and that is the big question, isn't it? Because a lot of people do, because they we have been pretty much conditioned that it's for your own good you should listen to this let me beat you down a little bit more emotionally mm. and then we come back to that whole um courage thing right mm-hmm. um, and and um about how that it takes a lot of courage and a lot of bravery to um to not be attached to the world around you yes to not having that attachment where you can you can uh place responsibility or you can put something on you know you can attach some value to um the world around you to the external world you know and mm-hmm. and how much bravery and courage it takes to um not being attached yeah to well it's like being being part of the world without being controlled by the world. Yes. Be connected. I mm-hmm. mean, be in the world, right? Mm-hmm. But in that in that moment where you you stop being attached, you now have complete and full responsibility for everything that happens to you. Mhm. And in that moment, you know, that takes bravery. <laughs> that really takes a lot of bravery. Yes. Well, to take that on, that's that's a big that's a big thing to take on. Yes. You know, to just say, okay, from here on out, I am responsible for what happens to me. 
and and I and I I am willing and I'm going to go out there and stand defenseless in the storm that is right now. Yes. And and not having attachment, to, not attaching anything to anything, and being in that defenseless alone. That takes a lot of bravery. Mhm. Yeah. And there's you know there's an awful lot of people in this world that man. They have to be attached. Yeah, and to I have been there as well. Yeah. And, 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 and you still are. We all are, right? We all yeah. find these attachments where all of a sudden I'm attached to this being or I'm attached to this thing where it becomes important for my being. Because mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. think you are very brave, Mary. I think you are a very courageous person. Uh, I miss your radio a lot. Uh, mainly because I miss your laugh. I think your laugh is defenseless and naked. It is so... um, It's just there. (laughs) It is just there, right? (laughs) Yes. And really, um, you laugh at yourself. You laugh at others. You laugh with yourself. um, You laugh with others. You laugh just to laugh, right? So it's not attached. It's not attached to an expectation of is others going to laugh with me? How is I going to see this? Is are they laughing too? You just laugh, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah, you, pretty and, much. <laughs> and you can things around on the silly side. Well, you know, life. It, life. Everybody takes it so seriously, and quite frankly, you're not going to get out of this. Alive, at least meat suit wise. So why not laugh at a lot of this stuff? Yes, and that's very, def- you know, that's very um, not very armored. It's very defenseless. It just stands there. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh at all these things, right? Mhm. Yeah, mostly I I laugh because I look better laughing than crying. But. <laughs> <laughs> And I feel better. So, yeah. Yeah. But it's that whole thing about um, not having those expectations attached to it. And then it's then it's just there. Then it's just alive and it's, it, it, it's just, it's happening, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And I have a tendency to have my laughs take on a life of their own. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's it. That, that, that whole defenselessness, that takes a lot of strength. I mean, that takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of courage. That's not like a, that's not a, a weak thing to do. See, and I guess I just never really thought of it like that. It's just, eh, I just laugh because I like laughing. Yes. It's, I always looked at it as a rather selfish way. Cause like, I'm going to laugh whether you like it or not because I'm having a good time. <laughs> Because really, in you uh, laughing is meaning surrendering, right? That's a, that's a moment of surrender where you just surrender to whatever is happening. Yeah, and did you know that that when you laugh, when you have a really good belly laugh, every time you laugh, your heart is it's it's like almost like it's skipping a beat. Yes. <laughs> so what was that? I'd I'd read something not too long ago about. Laughter can, um, it's the closest thing you will have to death without actually dying. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, well, you know, if I laugh myself to death, that would, that would be a good thing. <laughs> but, but it's just, you know, that, um, it's you know, like if, an abandonment. When you're, you know, when you're, then it comes back to that whole thing about giving, right? But, um, cause it's the bravery of not being attached, of not, not being in, um, in a, in a flow where you're about, um, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna give? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna gain from this? Mm-hmm. So there's, so, so there's, there's that whole thing about, being in a where the flow is about giving, right? Because uh-huh. when it comes to when it comes to people who are very attached, um, you, you the the attached flow of all this 
is really um, offering and taking. Yes. But that's, that is what the attachment is all about. It's about offering and taking. It's about negotiations and trading. It's, it's in that vibe of all that, um, what am I going to get? I give you, the, I offer you this, what are you going to give me back? Whatever, you know, and that comes from that, um, very attached where we're not free. Yeah. Kind of current, right? Mm-hmm. On the mm-hmm. other side of it, right? There's the giving and receiving, which, which is just, it doesn't have all that hold back and it is not, um, attached to expectations or something I attach to my flow of giving, right? It's freely giving, truly freely giving with no care and, and, and no concern and no attachment to how it is going to be received. Yeah. And in yeah. that, that, and in that flow, there is like, there is the connectedness and, and, the, and the, where you can move, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, giving is, is also a letting go. You know, so you yes. can get in a flow and just kind of float with it. Because I, I can, I, I'm, I'm here. I will promise you, Mary, that when you take something from yourself and you give it to another person, right? Mm-hmm. You're gonna lose it. You lost it in that moment. You're gonna lose whatever it is you took from yourself, however big or small it was, whether it was a smile or it was a big gift or it was your life, right? Mm-hmm. You're gonna lose it. That's a given. You're gonna lose it. And and yet, did you really lose it? I mean, yes, it's still out it. there. It's, it's out still, there. yeah, it's still kind of connected to you. Yeah. But in that moment where you gave it with no attachments, no attachments, right? Mm-hmm. It's lost from you because it's got no attachments. Well, it has no attachment, but it's still connected because it's part of you, and you can yeah. you can never really give away a part of you. Well, you're just because you're in it, it right? Because mm-hmm. you're in the fishbowl, right? You're in the habitat. You're in that, uh, however you want to see it, as a spiritual realm or an energy realm or a frequency. You're you're giving it to the frequency, back to the whole with the omni, yes. right? Because yes. you got the omni. Right, the omni, omni of everything, you know, mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. is that ever was, that ever could be, that ever has been, that ever might be, that ever, whatever. It's all. It's like the omni, right? That's where you're in it. Uh huh. And how are you gonna vibrate with that? Right? Oh man, that's a yeah. That's and a thing that a lot of people don't. I don't think really think about is how are you gonna vibrate with? Yeah. Because that's what you're doing. I mean, that's that's the whole thing you're doing. That's what everything is all about. That's what you're doing. Is you're vibrating with all that. Yeah. And in that creating whatever vibration that is there. Yeah. Then you just kind of sit back and go, "Wow, let's see what this vibration does." But (laughs) but what but what I want to come back to is like, but you lost it because you you gave it away. You had no attachment. But you know what? It's not a bad thing to lose, right? Oh no, no! Because there is, we go back to the bravery, right? There is the bravery, and I'm, I'm willing to just give this. I'm willing to take a small piece of myself all the time, in every moment. Give a piece of myself, take it out, and lose it. Give it away with no attachments. Yep. In that, in that willingness, in that willingness. Right, that bravery and that willingness, you are truly giving. You are no longer trading. You're yeah. no longer you're no longer attached. You're no longer trading. You're no longer um depending on whatever or however anybody's gonna take it, do with it, give it back, or how much you're gonna get back or all that. You're not in that. You're no longer in the deal making business. You're just in the okay. <laughs> I gave really? it. I, I gave it, right? Mm-hmm. I'm kidding. And in in that, when you're in that one, right? Mm-hmm. You are also able to receive. Now oh, you're yeah. no longer. Now you're no longer taking. 
now you're now it's receiving right the other mm-hmm. the 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 um, truly is the same movement as giving receiving is because you are not able you cannot receive something from somebody without giving the gift of receiving yeah because i i will i will i will honestly admit and i'm pretty sure most people are like that that it is valuable for me to be received yes very valuable to me and you know that's not exactly an easy thing for a lot of people to do you know, um, and that was one of those things. I got to tell you this story about my mom. She normally takes us out to lunch whenever someone goes to visit her. That's just kind of her thing. She likes to take us out for lunch. Well, uh, one of my brothers and his kids had come to visit, and mom forgot her wallet at home. And she was so embarrassed and felt so bad because one of her grandsons and her son paid for the meal. And she wanted to reimburse them. And my sister-in-law, bless her heart, who's absolutely amazing, looked at mom and said, Mom, just accept it. They got were able to give you something that you have always provided for them. So please accept it graciously because you don't want to hurt their feelings by not accepting what they're giving. Mm-hmm. And she had never really thought of it like that mm-hmm. before. No. Because cause it, it comes down, okay, this comes down to the basic truth that great audiences makes great performers, right? Yes. That, that's yes. the core truth of it. That's the, that's the omni, right? That's the vibration thing. Mm-hmm. That when we are great audiences, we make great performers. Yes. When we are great at receiving, we make great Givers and we give and we receive great things, right? Uh huh. Profound great things from each other. And a lot of the things that we receive, we don't even really realize we're on the receiving end. No. But the other side of that, and this is really what it's about the whole attachment versus connectedness, right? If you're in the attachment side, then you're not going to be able to receive, you're going to be able to take. Yes, and, and, and there is a you're difference. Gonna, you're going to sit there and you're going to judge whatever it is that's flowing your way. Because mm-hmm. that is the trading side. That is where the offers and takers live, right? That's where yes. we judge. Do I agree with this? Do I not agree with this? Do I like this? Do I want this? Do I believe this? Do I trust this? Do I, all these things. Those are all attachments we put on to whatever it is that we're get, we're getting. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is that is flowing our way, we're constantly judging it and our, especially the agreement, disagreement. And I'm a big, I fall into that trap all the time, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going, I, yeah, I'm going, like, it's important. Like, it's important if I agree or disagree with something. Like, it's going to change whatever it is that was there given to me. My ego and my brain attachment to the world starts making me think that it's important if I agree with it or disagree with it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But As if that thing is going to cease to exist if you stop agreeing with it. Exactly. Like, like it's going to change it. How? It's not going to change it. It's just me putting um, my attachments on it. And I'm, and then I am really in that taking offering kind of vibration. And I, and I'm not saying, you know, just believe everything and take everything in and then, no, 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 that's not it. Just receive, man. And, and, and being that flow doesn't mean you have to alter your whatever beings or your conclusions or your, uh, um, perspectives or your knowledge or your wisdoms or your beliefs just because whatever is given to you. But being, being, um, being the um, experience of it, be, be, you know, and then figure out how are you going to process it, right? Yeah. How, how quickly is it going to leave your system again, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, there's a flow in that, right? Oh, yeah. It's a, you know, those wonderful little life lessons that we get. You're always receiving those. 
but do you actually accept them in the receiving process? Yes. And then do you actually take them in and go, okay, I learned something very valuable there. <laughs> but but really, you know, when you're in that, I, I, it's, it's like, you know, it's like my dear husband Flash always says, you, you can't do both, right? Yeah. You can't be in truth and in non-truth at the same time. You can't be from love and in anger at the same time. It, yeah, because anger matter. stems from fear. Yes. You can't do those at the same time. You can't vibrate in two vibrations. And you cannot be con you know, cannot be attached and not attached at the same time. See so, so when you are um when you're in that uh trading point to point kind of hard energy where there's no flow but I'm constantly judging what do I want what do I need if I give you this what am I going to get back uh, that if you're in that you're not going to be in the giving and receiving of things yeah yeah so so you're going to be forever attached you're just going to be attached really right to the whole world around you Everything is just going to be attached to you. Yeah, and there's some attachments that just are not pleasant to have. No. No. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, saying, okay, I'm going to invite this evil spirit into my building. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to complain because the evil spirit is in my building. Yes. That it doesn't work that way. No. And and then we're really back to the whole um, being defenseless, right? Mm-hmm. Because all defense is, is the same attachment. It comes from the mind, and it's just attaching fear and possession and worry and all that. It's just going to attach all that to you, right? Mm-hmm. And, and all you're doing right then, the more you're going to defend yourself, the more you're going to be focused on the external world of what could happen and what nuts and how, what are these going to do to me and what are those going to do to me? How are those going to take me? How are those going to react to me? How is that going to happen? And so you don't even really get to enjoy the moment that you're in because you're so concerned about the what if. Yes. And then we're back to the big time sensuality, right? Because when you're in that mind, when you're in that whole um, attached mind, blah, all that, mm -hmm. you're not in your senses. You're not experiencing life. Right? No. 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 No, you're far from. You're very far from that whole... Um, um, beingness. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Ex mm. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's one of those. Um, you can either experience life for as it comes at you, or you can be fearful of what's coming at you. Yes. And always be, you know, as you say, defending against what might come at you. Which keeps yeah. you from experiencing, at least in a in a healthy and and um, productive way, and letting really letting your mind and your being be controlled about something that might or is or happening out there. So mm -hmm. you're, you're you're being held in that whole I'm um, I'm reacting kind of yes. So you're being controlled, really controlled, right? All attachments, yes. every attachment is going to control you and it's going to take away your freedom to move freely. To be free, to be truly free in this world is to be without attachment. Not being isolated, being connected, being connected, right? Uh -huh. Being in the world, being living in this wonderful, amazing, creative, it's just, I'm blown away by this world. I'm blown away by this planet, right? I'm blown away by human beings all the time. 
I have wonderful experiences when I drive in the train. I meet so many people, and they are each and every one of them wonderful beings. Yeah, I I can imagine that would be quite a bit of fun. Yes. Just to be able to. But then again, I am a people person. And there's an awful lot of people out there that are not what one would call people person. I, I, you see, but then, then we're in the expectations and the attachments and all that, because it's really is just, you know, I'm gonna have a party, right? Mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna have a party here. I'm fucking loving this place. This is a great place to be. I'm gonna have a party here, and I'm gonna not. I'm gonna be connected. I'm gonna have to party with you people because I find you amazing. But what I'm not gonna be is I'm not gonna be attached to whether or not you're gonna party with me. Yeah, because partying by yourself is just as fun. Come Easy. dance with me. I'm going to dance with you all you want. And when you're with me in that moment and you're giving and receiving and we're there, I'm going to dance with you all you want. But I'm not going to be depending on you being there. Yep. So I'm not going to be attached to that. Yeah. It's, it's letting go, you know, not being afraid to dance by yourself. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I dance by myself all the time, and occasionally my dogs look at me like, you're weird, Mom. (laughs) (laughs) And Because in, you know, in that, um, in that, in that very, you know, it's it's really about being able to move and grow and take in, right? Uh Uh-huh. And to learn, right? To just vibe with the Tao and just, you know, learn from it all. Because there is learning in everything. Oh, yeah. And everyone is a teacher as well. Yes. And, and, and if, if you can't move and, and you've got all these strings that is making you react instead of being, right? Yeah. And constantly judging because you're, you're, what a, what is good enough for me to take in, right? What am mm-hmm. I going to take in? What am I going to get from this? How is this going to do me, right? That That is most definitely a reactionary kind of behavior. Yes. Someone that is always, I'm going to do this, but only if this and this and this and this happens. And if those things don't fall into place, then I'm going to have to do this and this and this and this in order to get these things to fall into place so that I can compensate for. It's crazy. It's it's exhausting. Yes, it is. Yeah, I can't. I can't go there. <laughs> and, 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 and 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 but it's very natural for us, right? Yes, it is. And I have to say, I have been there, but I I just can't do it anymore. It just wears my ass out. Yes. Because I don't know why we got this Ferengi mind too, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> we really do. We are like, we got that Ferengi mind where it's all about the trade, right? Mm-hmm. And the balances and mm-hmm. justice and fairness. And that yeah. whole, you know, scaling and how and outweighs and all that. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. is mind. It's all mind. It is the ego. Yes. Yeah. And, and you're, people you're... do what? No, go on. Uh, just, you know, so many people that, that, you know, they think that everything, and I have to, I have to include myself in this. They think that, well, why can't you just see it my way? Why can't you just do things the way I want you to do it? And then I have to step back and go, okay, am I going to be willing to do that? For everyone else, seeing as how I demand they do that for me, yeah. it, it is a form of force and assault on another person. And imagine this is this is what we do. I, I do it all the time, and this is what we do, right? We, mm-hmm. we take our happiness, right? Mm-hmm. Our, our happiness, which is um, to me at least one of the most valuable things in life, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I and, and we take our happiness and we rip it out of ourselves. We we attach all these external things to it, right? 
Uh-huh. And then we leave it out there for the world to judge and fulfill for us. Now, uh, now we're not lo- no longer growing it ourselves, right? We have just made it conditional. Yes. And, and we took it from words growing the best within you, right? Mm-hmm. And we put it out there in the world for the world to grow and nurse it. Our own happiness. Mm-hmm. But we have been pretty much conditioned that that's, that's how life is supposed to be. And the mind will make you think right, that the more you put it out there for all these external things to affect it and control it, the more in control you are. Yeah, right? isn't that just bass backwards? Yeah, yeah, right? The mind will tell you. The more you defend it, the more you're attached to it, the more conditions you put on it, the more you guard it, the more you control it, right? The more you mm-hmm. are in control. But that's not true. Oh, no. 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 Yeah. And and once again, I think that's just a sad thing that we have been taught and that we have accepted and bought into. Yes. And it it really comes from... um, And this is where, you know, that you're that you know you're in the omni, right? It's because it comes from not only letting other people judge you, but from judging other people. Yes. Those two things are the same. Yes. Really. In that moment where you you start judging other people, you are also committing yourself to being judged. Yes, and to a, and to a, because yes, yeah, sure, you you know, judge me all you want, but am I going to be sentenced, right? Am I going to take the sentence, right? Really? Yes. Yeah. Well, because what you did with the judgment was you attached. True. Whatever, whatever, are you judging or are you letting yourself being judged? It's all about the attachment, so that's why it's the same. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's part of, you know, you become attached to something, then you are of that, whatever you are attached to. Yes. So, yeah. Because it's, it's, it's very interesting, this whole, um, and we do it so much. I, okay, we, I'm going to see how much that I'll just put my responsibility on the we thing, right? <laughs> yeah. No. That's because you have a mouse in your pocket, right? <laughs> yes, right. No, I, I do it all the time, man. Right? I judge things all the time. Well, I think we all do. I think we all do. It's, but there's a difference in, in judging. There's the, there's a judging that comes from a not so happy place. That is a jealous place. That is a fearful place. That's an angry place. And then there's the judging, as in, oh, that worked out pretty well. But would it work better if I did? And so, at least in the English language, judging can be used in in multiple ways. It's the intent behind the judgment. Yes, I think that that makes the difference. But really, it's it's the um, see, because it's the the difference really is, you know, are are you because you, you without the judgment you just take in, right? Now you're uh-huh. just receiving, but that doesn't mean you have to, you know, hoard it, right? Yeah, doesn't mean you have to hold on to it. Oh no, it that you know you can just receive shit and then just let it go, right? Uh huh. <laughs> right? Just mm-hmm. let horse shit in, horse shit out, right? Okay, there you go. Brief moment, right? And it was fun. And I felt the horse shit and you let it go, right? Uh huh. Right. And, but you're still in the, you're still in the experiencing. You're still in the flow. You haven't gone to the attachment where I, before I let it in, I said, Oh, that's horse shit. It, 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 it. I don't agree with that. It, it, it. No, right? Mm-hmm. No. I mean, the, okay. Wow. Horse shit in, horse shit out, right? Bullshit in, bullshit. Go away then, right? Mm-hmm. Or let, oh, let this pass then. Right? You can just do that. And some of it you just hang on to. You can go, wow, okay, loving this. I'm holding on to that man, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or, wow, that that was not a good thing. I don't think I want to, yeah. 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 
No, but it really is. It's as simple as the difference, you know. You get this. I am sorry. I'm like a fancy coffee kind of person. I can't help it, right? Mm -hmm. Um, So you get this wonderful made. um, I like my coffee as a cortado tutor, which is like half milk, half espresso, and then just a tad more milk. That's the tutor part. Mm -hmm. But you get that cup of coffee from the best coffee brewery uh, around right and I do that sometimes and in that moment and you have that coffee and it's delicious are you going to be judging it or are you going to be experiencing it Mm. see that that's where the whole intention thing comes in because you cannot do both right no you can't no so either you're experiencing it and you're in the receiving and you're just letting it flow and you're not judging it. You're not attaching it onto anything, right? You're just yeah. enjoying your cup of coffee and just letting it flow through you, right? Mm-hmm. Or there's the judging where you start thinking, oh, is, well, is this better than the one I got at the other store? Or do I really like my cotado with this much milk? Or I really like the one he did over there. Or maybe, yeah, I like, you, you know, then you're starting to, now you're no longer enjoying your cup of coffee, right? That is true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. So take that to a bigger scale, right? Ah, see, the devil is always in the details. <laughs> and then you start understanding what this judging is, man, right? And how these attachments, because like I, I attached expectations to my coffee. So it wasn't as good as the one I got yesterday. Because, oh, that guy, he puts a little more and he does, oh, that was better. Or the setting was better. Or, I remember that coffee I got over there back in that place where, you know. And you're judging and you're not experiencing because you're, you're not being in it. Oh, man. Now, see, now you sound like the farmer last night. I made a big batch of chili, and it really turned out very, very tasty. And we were sitting there just enjoying our chili and chit-chatting, and I went, you know, I've made one batch of chili that was just like the perfect batch of chili. Everything. This one is close. And he put his spoon down, and he looked at me, and he said, who was it that told me the other day? <laughs> and I knew exactly where he was going. And I went, okay, point taken. I'm enjoying my chili. Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> <laughs> now look at life like that, man, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how often we just, how little we just experience and just are in that receiving and giving. I'm just receiving and giving. I'm giving from me, and I'm receiving you. And I'm not judging it, and I don't care if you judge me. Yeah. Because I, I, I truly realized, right, I am in truly alignment with, and I understand, and I am okay, and I'm brave enough to give away, even though what I give away from me, I'm going to lose. Yeah. I'm going to lose it. But you know, you know, another thing that is, is, um, I think it takes brave to do is when you give something away and you're somewhat concerned that, man, and I know this is the ego thing kicking in, but you know, like, are they going to like it? And, and not worrying about that, are they going to like it thing? Mm. I think that takes, that takes some, some guts to go, okay, I'm going to give this to you. And, and you know, instead of saying, I hope you really like it, just saying, okay, here, guess what I have for you. And I know that's a very, very hard place for this old broad to be in sometimes. Because yes. I'm always going, oh, man, I hope they like it, especially if it's something that I just made. It's, oh, I hope it fits. Oh, I hope it does. And instead of just going, you know, I really enjoyed making that and mm-hmm. making it for this person. I have a tendency to, gosh, I really hope they like it. Gosh, I really hope. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, attach, I do all the time. I attach a lot of vanity to stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And how silly is that? 
I mean, that's just ridiculous, right? Yeah, but I think that it, that is kind of sort of part of the human nature thing is that yeah. you know, we really do have this tendency as creatures on this planet to go, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. But really, you know, shape, and that is, you know, that is the way of the Tao Mara, right? Mm-hmm. Learn. That really is, that really is, um, yeah, I'm going to attach shit to this now, right? Uh, mm-hmm. that, yeah, that really is, you know, a core belief of mine or a core trust or truth in for me, right? Is that this is all about um, flowing with the Tao, mm-hmm. vibrating with this Omni, right? Mm-hmm. More and more freely and more and more uh, connected but disattached. And that's that's a tough little thing to balance. Because I have to admit that. This is, this is the whole core of it, right? Because in that um, giving and receiving, letting go, being, uh, being brave enough to let go and just, you know, be connected through your senses, being in experience and vibration with this whole planet, every living being and everything and every everybody, right? Being connected, but not attached. Being free to do all that, right? In that, right, is happiness. That is happiness. That is where the bliss and the happiness lives. Yeah. Although, I do have to admit, there are certain individuals on this planet, in this plane of existence, that it does not necessarily give me happy thoughts to know that we are all connected. I just got to put that out there. That is part of it, my yeah. human feeling. Exactly. Because we all, and it is attachments, right? It's judgment. It's attachments. And we all have them because that that's, you know, sadly to say, I don't know, uh, that's the other drive. That's the Tao. That's how it is. It's going to attach. That's how we work, man. That's the mind. That is part of this physical that's who existence. You are. Yeah. Yes, that's just what it is. And it's going to, it's, you're going to attach and it's going to attach. It's not just you. You're not, it's just, just your mind trying to attach itself to pe- to things and give them meaning, right? Ridiculous things and give them meaning, right? Like opinions, like, I mean, the whole idea about an important opinion, it's ridiculous, <laughs> right? Once you look at it, it's ridiculous, right? How much are you going to attach to a fucking opinion, right? Well, yeah. You know, but opinions are like backsides. Everyone's got one and they all stink. Yes. But in that, in all that, <laughs> right, that's, that's, the, that's the struggle. Because truly... um Suffering, right? Mm-hmm. Suffering lives, um, you know, the mental human anguish suffering. Okay, I'm not talking about starvation or your foot got stuck in a bear trap or anything, right? That's suffering on a different level, okay, people? That's, you know, <laughs> right here and there, right? So, so, so that's not about all that. What is the, you know, but the human agony suffering that the human being feels, right? That uh-huh. exists, that exists, that suffering, that exists in the gap between what is and what you want it to be. Yeah. Or what you expect it to be. Oh, and those expectations. Oy, 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 oy. And in that gap between what is your senses, what your senses will tell you, right? Mm-hmm. The experience of the now, of this, of the vibrating life, the what is the reality of things, right? That That is the gap between that and what you want it to be and what you expect and what you're trying to perceive or what you're trying to reach. That you know, gap and, is where human suffering lives, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And it's the only place it lives. And the bigger gap you have there, the more suffering there's room for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Truly. Yeah. And, and, and all those attachments, right? They're about that gap. They're widening. They're, you know, 
Because you are attaching your own being to what is. Yeah. Instead of connecting to it and being in it, really. And being living, you know. Watching. Living in it, yes. Connected. Yeah. No mm-hmm. expectations, no nothing. No defense is just there, right? And in that, in that, that is where human happiness lives. I truly believe that. And happiness is, is, I made a choice a long time ago. Um, in my early twenties, I made the choice that I was going to be happy. My life, yeah. I'm going to be happy. It's the most important thing. It's my first priority. It's about, I'm going to be happy. There you go. There you go. Yep. That's, I, I realized years ago that basically, you know, everybody always says, what's your life's purpose? What's your life's purpose? What do you think your purpose is here? My purpose is comic relief. Even if it's looking at something truly, truly ugly and finding some way for people to look at it and go, how oh, freaking funny. Not, not haha funny, but man, that is just really funny. And when you put it like that, <laughs> Mm. So, pointing out the, the the craziness in this world, I think, is, yeah. you know, without the expectation of someone else actually getting it. Cause yeah, I, because, trust me, I get a lot of those Bambi in the headlights looks. <laughs> and, really, and really, when you're in that experiencing, when you're in that bliss, right, mm-hmm. you truly see that most of what the other, you know, that other energy find important, right? Uh-huh. And real and and all that. It's made up. Oh yeah. It's made up. And it's made up by people that died and was gone a long time ago. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's vanity. It's it's external structures. It's got nothing to do with real life, right? Yeah. It, it's and just, at know. least for you now, for them, it may actually be part of their real life. You know that because that is the frequency. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we are. I'm not going to say them. I do it all the time. I well, attach vanity on stuff. I'm like vain. I put vanity on stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I, yeah. It really is. And sometimes it's just a simple thing like. Wow, did you see how good I mowed the yard? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Are you kidding me? I get I get serotonin kicks if I mow the yard. And I even do it in a way where I know I'll trick the right, you know, serotonins about four or five times during the, the time it takes me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you can do that, you know. You can just oh, make, yeah. It's easy to trick that, that uh, hormone. That's the checklist hormone, right? Mm-hmm. So if you just do checklist, if you divert your garden or whatever into small sections and you really make your mind lines and all that and you go, I'm going to do it for A and then you're going to do a check off, you know, right in your mind, you get the serotonin and you're ready for the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's, but yeah, but it is attached to pride, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I will be, I am proud to say that I am still known as the mowing lady. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. But then there is also, you know, there is also mowing because uh, out of gratitude, right? Yeah. Because there really is. There is the connected side because we talked a lot about the attached side, right? Uh-huh. The trading and the, all that. But then there is just being connected, right? Mm-hmm. And, just, and then you're just really just mowing. You're mowing out of gratitude, maybe. Wow, I like my, uh, this is wonderful. I have this, I have this to live in. Uh Uh-huh. You know, I'm going to make it pretty. I'm going to make it mine. I'm going to put my effort in it. I'm going to give back. And eh. Yeah, and then, oh, look, I got all this stuff mowed down and everything smells so freshly mowed. And here come all the little butterflies and... And then I sit there and go, oh, this is so cool. And when I'm really, really lucky, when I'm really, really blessed and I'm riding around on my mower and I have a butterfly land on me, (laughs) then I know I got some of that fresh grass clippings on me and the butterfly come over to see what was going on. It's like, yeah, this is cool. (laughs) I know I'm goofy. when When it is all about, you know, 
you know, the teachings um, from the Tao towards the connectedness, right? Mm -hmm. It's teachings about the happiness, about being happy. Not mm -hmm. finding bliss and not being happy if this and this person will like me or if this and this happens. Oh, I'm going to be so happy when, mm. when uh, I get this from this person or if only I could do this, then I would be so happy. See, and that's coming from a place of lack. Yes. I am lacking something. And I need were, something else yeah. to make me complete. And you are complete. Everybody's complete. <laughs> and you took that. Um, oh, so important little um, part of you called happiness, right? The mm -hmm. little light, the little bitty light inside all human beings, right? And you took it out of yourself and you left it for the world to nurture it, right? Yeah. Because in that giving, there are things that I am not willing to give away from my own being because I don't want to lose my happiness. I know in the moment that I give something away. I know you're not agreeing with me completely about this, but I know that the moment you give something away, it's lost. I am okay with that realization. And perhaps that's the difference between giving and sharing. Because hmm. you can share your happiness with everybody and you never yes. lose it. You just share no. it. Yes. But I'm not going to give it away. I'm not going to take that part of me and, and give it away. I'm going to give a lot away. I'm going to give my heart away. I'm going to give my love away. I'm going to give my uh, my praisal away. I'm going to give my being away and my energy away all the time, right? Mm -hmm. I don't mind giving that away. I don't. I don't mind losing it. I, I got endless flows of it. I got. I, I, it doesn't matter how much love I take from me and lose. As I give it, there's always going to be more love. There's always going to be more love within me. I'm not going to run away. I'm not a scarce being. And yet, I, isn't happiness the same? Yeah, but but no, I can. Yeah, I'm with you. I think that's very clever. You share it, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm, but there's still that that source of your own happiness, right? Uh huh. And if I start tearing the source out, even the same with my love, really. If I started tearing out my love and putting it out in the world and putting attachments on it, and said, I'm going to love you if you love me back, or I'm going to love you if you do this and this. I'm going to oh. love you if, you're, if you will be this and this for me, right? Oh, yeah, that's putting that if in there. Yes, man. But that's that, the attachments, right? Yeah, that's that two-letter word. It has such profound meaning. Same with but. You yes. know, and I'm not talking about the backside but. I'm talking yes. about but. But if you were, but if you put those two words together, and holy crap, you can have a snowball yes. of a mess. But see, that's really that was very. See, that's interesting, right? Because you're right. Why don't I give away my happiness? Because I attached importance to it, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. And yet, you know. Oh, that's a realization. It's part of you. Yeah, right, Mary. Yeah. It's part of you. You can yes. never truly give it all away because it is part of your essence. Yes. And then there is back to, you know. Well, because now we're down to three minutes, right? And I really mm -hmm. want to end this with a song. Um. Because this was all about happiness, really. Mm hmm. Um, you there, Kim? <laughs> yeah, Duh just said, I'm angry all the time. Makes me happy. <laughs> the farmer <laughs> says, If I ain't bitching, I ain't happy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I told him he needs to find something else to anchor his happiness on. <laughs> I don't know if you're just giving away your bitching without no attachments and you don't really care if anybody's going to listen, then. It? Well, yeah, then I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm here if you need to, uh, to finish up. Oh, you didn't fall asleep, I give you. No, I've been doing stuff. <laughs> 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 okay. Keep him busy. <laughs> well, um, I don't know. Thank you all for listening, whoever did listen. It was fun doing. And thank yes, you. Yes, it was. 
Yeah. Thank you, Circles, for inviting me. Mm. Yeah. Have All a good one. Yeah. And... Time for the song. Am I singing? 